Yeah, but we, there's a difference between having 10 tricks and, and then being okay at them and then having two tricks mm. and being awesome at them. Uh, yeah. It's the same same thing with any skill work. Like if I'm looking at a cricket cricketer that's trying to pick up a skill, um, yeah, which let's nail one skill. So we've got that or find that let's find the most foundational one first, like one that we know that uh, I, I was working with a, a, a sports psychologist this year, a guy called Graham Winter. I did a podcast with him as well. And he was fantastic in um, he, he, he said to me, or he said to the guys we were working with, um, the last skill you learn is the first skill that falls under pressure, which is brilliant. Like it's so from that, it took, I took it to my yeah. training, which was basically if we're ta- if we're teaching these kids like a foundational skill, they need to f- literally make that like their base of. If we're building a pyramid, that foundational base is so strong because they've repeated that skill over and over and over again. They haven't just learned like if their competition is on a Saturday, they haven't just learned that skill on a Thursday because okay. Saturday, as soon as they're under pressure, it's going to crumble because it's not got anything mm. behind it. It's got no, it's got no substance behind it. And it Give was me just, an example of a skill like that in your sport. That so if oh, a, a, a great, a great example would be like a Yorker, right? So a Yorker is a okay. ball that you would bowl in cricket, which we, as a bowler, you're trying to bowl at the toes of a batsman, which is a very hard yeah. shot for a batter to play. Like it's, it's just regarded as if you're trying to get them to either get them out or, or stop them scoring, it's a great ball to bowl, but it's very hard to bowl and it takes a lot of work. And I see a lot of guys, um, from an amateur level at the moment but even professionally I saw it where they would practice on a Wednesday or Thursday with the competition being again on a Saturday and they'd practice it on that Wednesday Thursday they might nail it a couple of times they might get it right and they leave that pr- practice session feeling good that yeah I've, I've got it and then they go to the game then you're adding things like a crowd watching your cameras you've got people you've got anticipation you've got your own nerves you've got all this pressure that's suddenly building on top of you and then that skill it, it's got no legs to stand on because you haven't built a foundation you haven't challenged it in training you've just tried it um yeah. and it would more than often than not it wouldn't you'd come off second best because you hadn't you hadn't had enough time working on it you haven't yeah. you haven't got enough confidence in the work that you deposited in the bank to sit there and go well I deserve for this to go right um this this should go right right now rather than as soon as the pressure comes on you'll just surrender mm-hmm. to the feeling of oh, I know I I know in my back of my mind I know I haven't done the right amount of work so yeah. don't be surprised if it doesn't come off and yeah if it, if it ever did come off it was kind of a bit of luck or maybe some yeah. fluke yeah. but but more often than not, it just never would. So, um, so I take that into the way I coach and I 